Okay, I think, let me just fix this. Okay, I think we are live, uh, first time. And uh, it was a little chaotic getting back from sourcing some furniture for a client who just bought a great ranch. So I didn't even get to take off my jacket or shoes and came running and set up. But really excited to be here. And we're just going to go over uh, what happened yesterday at, on the blog where I started the home staging series. And then uh, answer any questions. I already got two questions through the Instagram stories that they wanted me to answer, and I'll totally answer that right now. Um, and I will post this up so on my Facebook page. So if you want to go back and uh, see what I said and what was reviewed, that's fine. So yesterday, first blog post went up about um, starting from the beginning, and it's the number one question I always get. What home staging courses do you recommend? And if I recommend any home staging courses. So yes, um, I highly, highly recommend that if you want to become a home stager and start a home staging business, that you do invest in some courses. Um, basically just, you know, ordering some business cards and having some practice staging your house and some friends' houses is not considered a professional home stager. And I tell everyone that if you're looking for a stager, just make sure they're professional, make sure they're certified. So how do you become certified if you're looking to become a home stager? If you're looking to become a certified home stager, I've taken quite a few courses. And after eight years, I'm finally giving away um, the two that I highly recommend. I did many more than these two. Not gonna mention some of the others. Uh, I knew that, hold on. Not gonna recommend some of the others um, just because I felt like it was something that was more intuitive uh, that anyone probably would have figured out had they started a home staging business. So the two that I did take, and I promise you, um, I'm not. There's no affiliate links. I'm not making any money off of this. This is just my honest to goodness truth. Was the ASP and the CSP. I took the ASP before I even ordered business cards. Before I even put a name on my business. Um, and I really highly recommend that you do that that first take a course and really learn what it's going to take to run a home staging business because I promise you at the end of my course I think we started with almost uh, 60 people and around 20 just dropped out they're like this is not for me <laughs> it's not a glamorous job your hours are all over the place because uh, you go around your clients hours so Taking the course and reading the books really helped. One question that came up that I want to answer right away was someone said, oh, I didn't know there was a course that could teach you how to stage a house. I thought that was something you knew how to do, like an innate, uh, uh, and something, a gift, like interiors, art, photography. That person who asked that question is right. You do not learn how to stage a house, where a sofa should go, where a chair should go. That's not what these courses are for. Um, there is something intuitive about home staging. You have to have a knack. So it, what a lot of people say, oh, I stage my house all the time. I help my friends out. That's the first good sign. Um, if you have a little intuitive a, a knack for it. So don't think you're going to sign up for a course and that's what you're going to learn. You're going to learn the business aspect of it, how to run a successful home staging business and how to start one. So the first one on the blog that I did talk about was ASP. I took that first before I even started. Uh, before I, and I took it in person. I did not do online. Uh, if you can take it in person versus online, please do. It's a whole different experience. Before I took the course, I did read the book, and this is the book. Um, you could see I this is from eight years ago. Uh, I read it like I was in college. I read every single word. I was underlining things. I was taking notes at the top. Um, there's paper falling out where I found more notes. Um, honestly, I read the book from beginning to end. And it really was what determined that I could do this and move forward. The book is 
home staging business, building a home staging business, and I don't know if you could see proven strategies from the creator of home staging, which she is, and it's Barbara Schwartz. Um, so I'll put that right there. There you can see. Um, go ahead. I say grab the book, buy the book, and read it from beginning to end like you're back in college, taking notes and everything. And after you finish it, if it's something where you're like, okay, I can move forward with this, look into her course. It's the course, take it in person. It's, it's a few days. It's a long days. And it really takes you to a different level. Uh, this was after taking the course and finishing the book that, and it was not over a couple of days, it was probably a month or two, um, that I finally was able to say, I'm going to do this. I'm going to go forward with this and I'm going to start. Um, next week, I'm going to talk about the next steps after you've done your course, after you've read your books. Um, and this is not the only book out there. There are a couple other books that I'll put on the blog that you can look into. I just felt this really gave a good background on it. Um, so next week, I'm going to talk about once you've taken the course and looked into it, once you've read your book and done your homework, and you really feel this is a business that you can plunge into, I'm going to talk about um, the next steps, how to set up your, your business. and go over like what I did wrong and what I wish I had set up first. Um, hi, Jean from California. I love your honesty and thank you. Learning with this Yes, I was a freelance designer for a few years because I didn't know how to operate this, especially in Totally agree. Made a, I also made a ton of mistakes in the beginning eight years ago. And I wish someone would have said, um, do this, don't do that, try this, try that. And a lot of my friends and people here know that I'm an honest book. Like I have nothing to hide. I will tell you how it is. Um, and so next week, once maybe if you want to order the book online, again, no affiliate just being honest, um, and look into ASP. The link is on my blog. Uh, and if you decide, like, you kind of want to keep on going with this, next week I am going to go over the mistakes I made because I thought I was headed in the right direction, but what should be your first steps Your first steps into um, setting up your home staging business. After a couple of years of running my business and everything was going fine, I, you, like any business, you get a little burnt out. And I did too, and I need a refresher. I didn't go back to ASP. I maintained my ASP certification, and you maintain them, um, and you can do that online. You take little courses online, and you can maintain your certification. You get, you know, your logo and everything, and keeps you as a ASP, a professional home stager. So when you have your business card, it will say Cecilia Cannon little apostrophe, ASP, professional home stager. You do need that validation when you first start, that you have studied, that you do know what you're doing. So I maintained my ASP through the years, but I just needed a refresher to get me back going. Uh, happens to everyone in the business or any business. And that's when I found CSP. Basically almost the same thing, different company, different strategies. Um, and I'm very... And I, there was a lot of other in-between courses that I took online. I'm not, don't waste your time. Um, it was a, too, too many things that were intuitive. Oh, yeah, I know that. Like, I know I'm not supposed to give away my business. You know, things that don't waste your money. So the next thing that I did invest in was CSP. And very thankful for it. There was a lot in there that I had learned when I took the ASP course. So if you want to do CSP first, I think it's fine because it's kind of, you're, you're in the same track. But CSP kind of did dealt more with um, uh, more how-to stage. Um, ASP is more about creating the business, which is, I think, why, why I'm glad I took that first. And then a few years later, the CSP was um, tips and tricks and ideas and how to say things, how to word things, how to invoice. It was things that um, I think was great to have a couple years in to be like, oh, why didn't I do that? I should be doing that. 
Again, there's a link on the blog to the CSP site. Um, they offer courses throughout the year, and once you're in, you get into like their Facebook page, you get into their little community, you could ask questions, there's a great community. This is the same with ASP. Once you're in, you're in. Once you're certified, you have a great membership, and you could, if, if you're feeling like you don't know what to do about something, you could get onto their private Facebook page and ask a question and so many stagers will step up and say, hey, you know what, this is what I do when I do this, this is what I charge for this. So just getting into those two is great because to have that support online is actually wonderful. Um, next thing was, it, it didn't exist. When, when I first started staging, there was literally four of us. We could count them who they were in the Chicago area. Um, and we knew each other. Now there's like thousands. Um, and around this time, staging being so new, someone created RESA, R-E-S-A. It was a convention designed to be a convention for all real estate stagers association. And it was in Las Vegas. And I f randomly found it online. I was like, I'm going. I'm going to Vegas. Um, I really don't know what this is, but you really, you know, years ago didn't have a lot of community support when it came to home staging because it really was a new field. So when I saw this thing happening in Las Vegas, I packed my bags, had a six month old, because that's what I started my business when my baby was six to nine month old. And um, I hopped on a plane and went to Vegas. So glad I did. There weren't that many people because there weren't as many stages back then. It was a smaller conference broken down into workshops. You could pick your workshop and it was run by other very successful stagers from California and New York and Canada because they're big in staging in Canada. And they gave away so much info. Um, I learned more in that those three days conference at Risa than I had in my at that point, maybe a year or so of working. Um, I came back like, oh my God, this is how I'm gonna run my business. This is what I'm gonna do. I have to do this, this, that. They gave away info because they were they, they were confident in themselves. And I think that's what it is. You gotta associate yourselves with better stagers than you so you can learn. And stages that are confident that they know that they're sharing their info. Um, and you'll have the utmost integrity with it. So I went to the Risa, it was the first ever. So glad I did. Kept on going a couple more years after that. After the fourth year, it became huge. It is a big conference now. I even think they switched from Vegas to uh, California uh, conference. And I mean, the, the attendees are in the thousands, I think. They get sponsored by Sharon Williams and many other great companies. Uh, companies that are dedicated to staging that um, create prop TVs that you need in vacant staging, that have furniture rentals like Brooks Furniture and Court. So you go there and you learn, oh, Oh, this is where I can rent furniture from. Um, you set up relationships with them. Oh, this is where you get prop televisions. I need prop televisions. Those are fake plastic TVs you have to put up in vacants. So going to this conference really is life changing, really gets you behind the scenes of making relationships with companies that support stagers and supply to stagers. Um, art people, art dealers who are giving basically art prints on canvas for crazy great deals and you can stock up your inventory. Um, I am going to go more into detail about how to create your inventory um, in a couple more blog posts because I want to take it step by step and not overwhelm. But back to the beginning because I always promise I'll stay on schedule is um, at you could go back to the blog Start with your courses. Don't just plunge into it, into starting a business. It's okay if you don't have a business name, business cards, whatever. Read the book. Again, it's the Barbara Schwartz Home Staging, How to the Strategies of Successful Home Staging. Read it word for word. When you get to the end, you might say to yourself, not for me. Um, 
because it's not like I think people think oh I get to go to a house and put a chair here and put a plant there and a lamp here and it's gonna go and we're gonna stage it the issue and the stress that's talked about in that book is you can go to a house and stage it but if it sits on the market for nine months to a year ugh, as a stager you have to say okay what did we mess up on um, the point of staging is to help them sell fast um, this past year almost every single one of my properties sold fast except for two and the two I have lost sleep over um, it's like should we have done the floor should we have taken everything out and you know there's so many things so to have that pressure as a home stager is not just like picking colors. You really need to know um, and be able to accept responsibility like a realtor in a sense that I'm coming in here, they're depending on me to help get this house sold fast. And that book talks about that too where can you handle that stress because it's a little stressful. I can tell you the amount of times, you even this week, you could ask my husband that it's 3 a.m. and he's just like, what are you doing up? I'm like, I can't sleep. You know, we got these houses. This week we had a couple houses to stage. So if you are ready after you read the book, then sign up for the course. It's not cheap, but it's a good investment. You come out with your binder and your pages and your information and your give like all this is given to you and you can literally probably walk out of your course and start putting a business plan into action the next day. And then if you want in a year or so once you're running, look into CSP and others to kind of keep on getting a refresher. So I had those. I had one more question. I just uh, the big main question was, um, are, do they teach you how to stage? No, they don't teach you how to stage. I think that is something that comes from from you um, and what you're initially innately good at. At Riza, you do learn tips and tricks that do work in staging. For example. Where mirrors get placed, it is crucial that when you walk in or turn a corner in a certain room that is small, that there should be a mirror. You learn about stuff like that. But that's not what is in the ASP course. ASP is to start a business. So, and then the second question was, what's the next steps? <laughs> um, and that's coming up next week. I know not everyone is gonna start reading the book and take the course and be done by next week. But I am gonna put this all on the blog under courses so that you can move down at your own pace. It's gonna go up as it is getting done weekly. Um, in the meantime, if you have any questions, I will answer them. So feel free to just post on a comment here or send me privately. You can message me through Instagram or through Facebook and I will answer them. I probably will probably answer them here in the feed, but I won't mention you out of respect. But I will answer any questions anyone has about these courses, about Riza and those first steps. Um, so this was the first ever Facebook Live post. Um, I hope it went well. We'll see. I'll probably know because I'm sure, uh, honestly, I'm sure probably my preteen's gonna watch it and then say, Mom, you should have done this. So I hope it went well. I hope you guys liked it. I hope we can continue because I really want to start sharing all of this with everyone. And just let me know. I'm here for you for questions and everything. Till next Tuesday.